A few days ago, Lewis challenged me to design five different slides in just 10 minutes using only what's available in PowerPoint. Let's see what you can achieve when you love PowerPoint. Start the clock. Go to icons and then choose the image tab. Type in line and choose the picture of the charging line. Insert and make sure it fills the full screen. Add a copy, so a second image on top and the top one we're going to crop. So crop the edges on the top left a little bit inwards and do the same on the bottom right. Now we want to make it a rounded rectangle. So go to crop, crop the shape and now choose the rounded rectangle. Increase the roundness or decrease it so it's a bit smaller. Right click format picture and we're going to add some drop shadow. So one of the standard drop shadow effects, go to the image tab and reduce the sharpness all the way so it's blurry and it gives it a glass morph effect. Play around with the settings, increase the size, blur and the distance a little bit. And this gives us the beautiful glass morph look. Add a text box on top, type in the word, let's go for Safari. Select the text, go to the font, type in Montserrat, go for the same font black. So we want a really bold font, make it white, increase the size to about 100. And then adjust the text box, center to the middle and align to the center of the slide. Maybe one bigger, there we go. Go back to the stock images, click on the icons tab and add the icon of a lion. We're going to make it white and also transparent. So go format graphic and increase transparency to about 50%. Add another text box because we're going to add some dummy text below. Paste the dummy text that you have, font Montserrat Light, decrease the size and center it in the middle. There we have it. And that is our first beautiful slide ready. And we still have some time left. So new slide, delete everything. We go to the design tab on top because we want to use one of our color palettes and make sure we have our colors selected. So green color palette. Go to the background. Right click format background, gradient fill, and we want this beautiful green one. Shapes, insert a rounded rectangle because we're going to make a laptop. Add a gradient, choose the light gray gradient, maybe one darker. There we go, that's better. Adjust the edges a little bit so the dark is on the bottom. Copy, turn it around and make it a lot smaller. That way we have this little lid of the MacBook that we want to create. Perfect. Play around with the settings. Then we're going to copy the rounded rectangle, expand it to the top, expand it to the bottom and reduce the roundness of the corner. Also grab the edges, hold control, shift it inwards, make it dark. There we go. There's a screen and shift it to the back. Now we're going to select everything, position it downwards and add a white rectangle on top. This is going to be our screen or the position for our picture. Make it white, remove the outlines. There we have it. Select everything. Oh no, we still need to modify it a little bit. Add a text box. Type in MacBook Pro. It's with a capital B. There we go. Select the text. Change the font to Montserrat. We're going to use the thin font. Make it white and reduce the font size by quite a lot to about 9. Center it in the middle. And there we have it. The bottom one is a little too large. So reduce the size of the rectangle. It's very thin. And let's see if we can add an outline here to make it pop. No, that's going to mess up things. Let's leave it as this. Select the laptop, move it to the right side. Go back to your stock images tab. Look for a frog and take the smiling frog. We want it on the other side. So rotate, flip horizontal. That way it smiles towards us. Create a duplicate. No, not yet. Increase the size so it fits the screen. Go to crop. Crop margins, put it on the white rectangle and increase the size so the eyes pop out of the screen. And this is where the fun starts. Create a copy, remove the crop markings above the eyes and then format the picture, remove background and this creates a nice cutout of the frog. Position it on top so it gives a nice 3D effect of your frog and that's what we're looking for. Now let's add some text to the slide, move everything a little bit to the left. So we go to text box, let's drag in a title. Type in the word jungle, select it, Montserrat, make it white, increase the size to about 100, Montserrat and make it black or font black, reduce the size a little bit, 60 is better on this slide. Copy the text from the previous slide, it's dummy text anyways, and we're running out of time. Position it to the left, center to the left, reduce the box. Let's add a subtitle, select some words from lorem ipsum, there we go. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, paste it in the middle, drag the box to the left, and let's do uppercase only for a subtitle. 
make it bold. Let's use the font medium, semi bold. And let's just remove that last word. There we go. Position it, everything, so everything looks nicely and balanced. Go to the icon step, add a frog. No, let's go for jungle. Let's type in jungle, insert, make it white. Oops, make it white. And then also add some transparency for mid graphic, about 50, 60%. That looks good. New slide, three more to go. And we're burning a little bit behind, but we'll catch up. Let's go to images, type in elephant, look for a nice image of an elephant. Oh, refresh, we're going too fast. There we go. Select the image, insert, make sure it's full screen. Designer tab helps. And let's go to insert shapes and add this window thing. I don't know what the name is. The rectangle with a cutout in the middle. Increase it so it's about above the elephant. Make it yellow and copy the image from the back picture format, remove background, and we want to select the elephant. Add the feet at the bottom. There we go. Press keep changes if you're happy. We don't have too much time, so we have to be happy. Click on the elephant, crop shapes, and then match the crop shape with the border of the yellow line. This way you get a kind of 3D effect. Copy some text from the previous slide because we don't have too much time left. And change the words to national because we know where it's going. It's going to be National Geographic. Change the font, Pepas Noia. It's a lot smaller, that's better. Align to the right, position to the right of the slide. Copy, National Geographic. And then add the dummy text on top. Also align it to the right. Now this slide is a little bit imbalanced. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the elephant, remove the crop mark, so full elephant, and rotate, where is it? Select, rotate, format shape, and flip horizontal. Then make it a little bit smaller, send it to the back. There we go. No one will see it, but it looks more balanced. New slide, that went fast. Remove everything. And we're going to add a rectangle on top of the entire slide. Now we're going to change the numbers to 8.46. This way, give one fourth of a slide. Remove the outline, make it dark. Yeah, let's go for darker. There we go. Uh, no, not copy it. Let's add some text on top of the slide. So copy the text, change it to the letter A, increase the size, center it in the middle, and position it on top of the tab. Reduce the text, the font, there we go. Let's add some stock images, animals, but icons in this case. Let's drag four icons, select four icons, and add them to the slide. Make them white and position them to the top. We will need them in a minute. We'll grab one for the bottom and then copy this four times so control shift and drag release and position it back so we can create it four times nicely change the letters to b c and d and now we're going to position the icons up there in the back so sh control shift f to the front and bring it to the front change the fill so everything goes one tint lighter that's the effect that we're looking for Group everything together, control G. I'm forgetting my controls here, do it again. Control G, that works. Control G, control G, and once more. And we do care about the details, so let's grab this and put it to the edge, perfect. Send everything to the back. There we go, all four, and then select all four. Animations, fly in and fly in from the left. Increase the time to about 1.75 and create a new slide because you have one minute left. Delete everything. Oops, one too much. Format background, gradient, that looks good. Images, dog, go to images and look for the Christmas doggy. There we have it. Let's copy some text from the first slides. The large one, that's good. Let's paste it, type in happy, create a copy, drag it upwards, control shift and holidays. There we go, make it slightly wider. Select the image, format picture, remove background, Select in green what you need, small things at the bottom, tweaking, keep changes, position it at the bottom, make it a little bit larger, and then center it in the middle. 30 seconds left, let's position everything nicely and animate the picture, go to the animation step, fly in from the bottom, that's good, increase the duration to one minute, one second and a bit. Go to the animals, Christmas, they don't have icons, no, has to be written, Christmas, fast, 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 tree. And leaves, that's good, make it white. Position the tree at the bottom. 
create a copy, put it to the left, increase the shape, oops, grab it, increase the size, make sure it looks right, and we are done. And this is what you can achieve in 10 minutes if you master PowerPoint. I like the effects that we use, the glass morph 3D, the little effects and small animations that we could put into place to create a nice looking PowerPoint presentations with the animal theme. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want some slower paced tutorials, please check out the videos on my channel. See you in the next one.